Hey everyone, this is Ditto from Humblefish and Reef to Reef. Today's video is specific to the Reference A and Reference B bottles. I'm doing this video to provide the sizes of the bottle, which is important to know when determining where you're going to be placing the unit. My beta testing of the unit did not include putting the reference solutions into any third-party containers, but using the bottles themselves as the dosing containers. When you order your Ion D, it will contain two 500 milliliters of Reference A and Reference B solutions. The Reference A and Reference B bottles are the same size and each are approximately two and three quarter inches wide and seven and one quarter inches tall or approximately seven centimeters wide and 18.4 centimeters tall. You're also going to be able to purchase the 1,000 milliliters of Reference A and Reference B solution. These bottles are larger than the 500 milliliter bottles. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the 1,000 milliliter bottles to that of the 500 milliliter bottles. The Reference A and Reference B bottles in the 1,000 milliliter sizes are the same size and each are approximately three and one half inches wide and eight and three quarter inches tall, or approximately nine centimeters wide and 22.25 centimeters tall. When it comes to the bottle placements in the ion director, the shorter the distance, the better. You can use the included tubing that comes with the ion director when you ordered it or your own tubing, but it's very important not to use silicone tubing for any of the connections between the reference solution and the doser or the doser in the ion director. The use of silicone tubing may introduce air bubbles. It's especially important that you do not kink the lines in any way when attaching the dosing lines used for the reference bottles to the doser. Do not forget, you will be getting dosing caps when you order the ion director that can be used both on the reference A and the reference B bottles. These dosing caps also fit the 500 milliliter and the 1000 milliliter bottles. Last, an observation that I noted while testing is condensation inside the bottle. It did not matter if it was outside my tank on a stand, inside a cabinet, or on a countertop, I did observe condensation inside the bottle. This has no impact on the testing of the unit and you should not be alarmed when you see it. I hope you enjoyed this video quickly going over the reference A and reference B bottles. You can always find me on Humblefish or Reef to Reef. This is Ditto signing off.